It may be a little darker earlier, but you're getting more light in the morning and th throughout the day. And in fact, under standard time, you get many, many more days of daylight. Learning, memory, executive functioning, that requires a lot of alertness and you have to be paying attention. So things like, you know, attention, uh, being able to have uh, multitasking, for example, which you can normally maybe do, that could be impacted during this transition because sometimes you're not getting as much sleep or the quality of sleep can, you know, is, is, is also altered. I think accidents, I think things that are like not just mental performance issues, but physical performance issues uh, may be also uh, impacted. With daylight saving time coming to an end, what people really need to focus on is their driving. Now that's going to be darker earlier. You got, have to readjust to get used to that glare. You also want to make sure that your headlights are working properly. And this also goes into the school zone area too. You know, kids are getting out of school and it's darker earlier. So you need to be much more alert and attentive to your surroundings. So when you're in standard time, your internal body clock, your biological clock, is going to be more aligned with a sun clock, which is, you know, your environmental clock. The science is very strong, the evidence is very strong that if you have to choose between those two, it would be permanent standard time because your clocks are going to be more aligned with each other and therefore you're going to decrease your, your, your risk of having all these negative you know, health issues.